Hello everybody and welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday and we're gonna run it the father again. But first we're gonna kill this guy because we can. Nice. Uh, hey, you, you die as well. Cause sometimes you give me items and I like items. This guy always gives me items. So I like him the best. <laughs> I feel like I've sunken into my into my position a little more over the course of that last episode, so just had to quickly adjust my mic. You know, sometimes you just you just relax and you just sink and sink and sink and sink. I am feeling pretty relaxed despite the uh, tension in the game. This is, this is, in a way it's almost therapeutic, these games. You just, you just go in and you do your best and ow, whatever happens, happens. Okay, well, that's two blood vials gone. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's like win or lose, it's just a game. Hey, knew you were gonna do that. Uh, that's fun. That's fun when you outsmart them, quote unquote, like that. Hey. Nice. All right, give me a few more of those. I like those. Okay, definitely thought he was gonna attack there. Ow. Get him out. All right, all right, got greedy. Got greedy, went for two hits when I should've went for one. What the? F he did that once before, and I just couldn't believe it when it happened. Now I'm in a really bad spot here. Frick. Stop lunging at me. Frickin' hell. That's the worst. The worst is when you stagger him and he knocks you over so that you can't get up on him. All right, heal. It's gonna change forms, no? Okay, there he goes. All right, what you doing? Okay, I thought he was going up. Ow! All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right hit me again. There we go. All right, one more of those and we've got it. Okay. Hit me. Yes! Oh, I did it! Oh! <laughs> My heart is racing. I am no longer relaxed. But that's okay. <laughs> we did it. Oh, hey, look, there's a lamp here. We finally found the second lamp. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go back to the hunter's dream. Um, I have some echoes to spend. Whew. Funny how that happened three minutes into this episode. <laughs> I was not expecting to win that round, but I was hoping. Welcome. What is it? Okay. Here? What is it I desire? I want to channel my blood Very echoes, well. please. <sighs> okay. Uh, we want skill probably, because I'm pretty sure blood tinge still isn't doing that much for us. Yeah. Okay. Then I can get. Oh, I thought I could get another level, but I can't. That's unfortunate. All right, that's fine now. We'll just take the one level and be happy about it. Oh, we're actually just, like just barely short of another level. How much is that? 17? Well, I'm pretty sure I could sell like four pebbles and get that. 
Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that <sighs> real quick. Um, sell. Yeah, I can't sell pebbles, apparently. Maybe because they're equipped. I don't know. Okay, well, you know what I can sell, though? I can sell, and maybe this is a bad idea, but I can sell my starting gear. Let's sell the black hood. I probably shouldn't have done that. There's probably some some fight that that gear is really good for or something, but I don't know. I want that level. Uh, skill, skill, skill. Yes, skill is what I want. Okay. Um, Farewell, good hunter. Boy. Uh, how much? How many of those thingamajigs did I need? I need it. I need. Th oh, actually, I have enough to upgrade the cane. Yeah, I noticed when I was editing the other episodes that actually the, the cane was the right thing to upgrade, not the pistol, because the because of the scaling damage. I was only looking at the base damage, but the scaling damage meant that the cane would have actually gotten me more damage. Uh, I have to sell something else. You know what? We're going to sell more starting gear. That's what we're going to sell. Foreign stuff. All right, so now probably should have just bought some stuff while I was there, but it's fine. Uh, fortify cane. Yes, OK. Threaded cane plus one. Yeah, so we've got quite a bit of damage now. I do like it. It's very nice. OK. Tomb of Odin. All right. And I feel like I still feel like there's a boss that I skipped. I don't know this for sure, but I think I skipped a boss somewhere. I don't know. But for now, we're just going to move on. We can always come back to it, right? Probably. That's how these games work, I think. Sometimes you never like permanently locked out of a fight, right? All right? I need to I need to find a way out of here. I need to find a way out of here up here. This is the way out of here. I'm guessing I couldn't have come up here. Maybe I could have. I don't know. I don't know if I could have come up here during that fight. Oh. Item. Hello. Red jeweled brooch. What is that? Uh, bright red brooch. Use to gain droplet blood gem. I don't know what a droplet blood droplet blood gem is. Apparently, it's something that I have trouble saying. But yeah, maybe I'll use that at some point. I don't know. Actually, you know what? The description might tell me more. That's one thing I haven't been doing is checking the detailed description. A woman's bright red brooch engraved with the name Viola. Perhaps the jewel is a gift from a hunter used to change into a droplet blood gem that fortifies. Oh, the proper workshop too. Fair. So okay, all right. So I can fortify my weapon with it. Neat. Should I hold off then? To... Because if it works like Dark Souls, specifically Dark Souls 3, then eventually you need different items to upgrade your weapons. Then the... Different than the items you get at the start. Also, something on my mind. I have four insight, and I happen to know that if you have a lot of insight in this game, crazy stuff happens. So I'm kind of wondering, how do I get rid of insight? 
The Bergenworth spider hides all manner of rituals and keeps our lost master from us. A terrible shame. It makes my head shudder uncontrollably. Interesting. Okay. Keep an eye out for spiders. Got it. They wouldn't put a mimic as the first chest in the game, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. I know in Dark Souls 3 they actually do that. <laughs> they put a mimic as one of the first chests in the game and it's kind of hilarious. Oh. Oh. I did not realize I was walking into a cutscene. Uh oh. Is this a boss? Is this another boss? Uh oh. Ooh. Or is this just a new area? Oh, I don't know. Hello. There's a lamp here, which be makes me think it's not a boss. Hello. Who are you? Hmm? Oh, you must be a hunter. I am. I'm sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Mm -hmm. Good, good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. Mm -hmm. These hunts have everyone all locked up inside. Yeah. Waiting for it to end. It always does. Always has, you know. Since forever. Mm -hmm. But it won't end nicely. Not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going bad. That sucks. Screams of women folk, the stench of blood, the snarls of beasts. None of them's too uncommon now. Mm. Yarnum's done for, I tell ya. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. We'll uh -huh. be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Mm. Spread the word. Tell them to come on over. Okay. If you wouldn't mind. <laughs> Alright, so I happen to know that there's one person that you're not supposed to bring here because they kill everyone. But I don't know who that is. I know I shouldn't be asking you, but if you happen upon someone while hunting, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. Mm -hmm. If they seem worth being told, that is. Oh, and I do sincerely hope they are. <laughs> okay. I know I should if you have to Okay, cool, cool. I'm not gonna break the pots in here because the pots have incense, and that's what uh that's what's keeping the monsters away. Alright, another lamp. I don't need to go to the dream right now. Unless I wanted to go back to Yarnum and maybe find that boss that I missed. I feel like there was there are places in Yarnum that I didn't find. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Just always gotta walk carefully in these games when you don't know the area. <sighs> oh. oh, that's an enemy. Hello, sir. How are you? Mind if I just slip by ya? Oh! Oh, hi. Hello. You snuck up on me. Okay, can't just smack you until you die. Hey, try and hit me. Ow. Alright, well, I was gonna try and shoot you there, but there we go. Nice. It definitely feels good when you guess the timing on the first try. Pretty cool, that set I just got. Uh, man, there's... We're back to the point where just everything is a branching path. And it's hard to tell where you're supposed to go, where you're not supposed to go, and thank you for all those blood files. I will probably be needing them. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Um... Okay. 
want to sneak up behind this guy, but I also want to make sure I'm not going to get ambushed when I'm doing so. Boom! Alright. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm digging it. I'm also digging all the echoes I'm getting here. That was a lot of echoes just for that guy. It's like more than a blood vial's worth. Okay, a lot of people here. I'm gonna just stand around and see if they notice me. Maybe I'll prep a pebble to throw. Hey you! I missed. Hey! Hey you! I, I missed. Hey buddy! Oh wait, the dog's coming. Hi! Don't know why I switched there. I actually just pressed the wrong button. Hey, you! <laughs> I threw it through his legs. <laughs> Hello! There we go. Hey, come at me, bud. Boom! Just like that. Just like that. Easy. Hey! Hey, you! I missed. <laughs> I keep missing them. Alright, yeah, yeah. Okay. These guys I know I can just slash out a few times and kill. So I'm not terribly worried about, you know, doing the whole parry repost thing. So I can just brute force these ones. Altov, nice to have. I should probably let me put those back on my bar. I don't know if I like or not the fact that when you run out of something, it, they remove it from your bar. Yes, it means that you're not trying to scroll through things you don't have, but also it means that I have to go in and re-equip it after I get more. Man, oh man. Is this a... See, this door was lit up. It made me think that it was one that I could knock on. Hmm. Okay, so there's... Aha! Uh -huh. Ow. Okay, backing up was not the right solution there. Hi. Bad dog. I didn't recognize initially that this is one of the guys that tries to shoot you. So. That's why I backed up. It's like, oh, he's gonna... He's gonna... Try and run at me, right? Nope. He just tried to shoot me. Open door. Immediately die? Nope, didn't immediately die. That's pretty neat. There's a lever there. Do I want to pull it? <laughs> Another fun thing about these games is like, okay, here's an obvious thing to do. Do I want to do it? Or is this actually going to screw me over? Oh, more man-man's knowledge. Wonderful. Um, operate. What does this do? Oh, it moves that. Oh, so we can go down into the tomb. Oh, I didn't. I thought though that was gonna be stairs there. But that was not the case. I just fell off. Oh, more madman's knowledge. Great. This wall is real. Just thinking of anyone who hasn't played one of these games is like, why is he just hitting random walls? No, you hit the suspicious walls because they might be fake. Because those exist in these wall in games. Although, I guess in Dark Souls 1 and 2, you have to walk up to them and press a button that's not the attack button. Whatever the interact button is on the system you're using. But in Dark Souls 3 and maybe this one, I'm actually not sure on this one, but uh, you definitely hit them. 
Are you... Is that a person? That looks like a person. Friend or foe? Fr friend or foe? You're a beast hunter, aren't you? I am. I knew it. That's precisely how I started out. Cool. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me Alfred. Nice to meet you, Alfred. Master Ligarius, hunter of vile bloods. So, what say you? Our prey might differ, but we are hunters, the both of us. Your mouth isn't moving. Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? Sure. Oh, very good. Very good indeed. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. Okay. Fire paper. Pray. Beast hunting is a sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way. Well, thanks. There must be oodles for us to share. Probably. Go on. Just tell me what piques your interest. Okay. Uh, how about the healing church? No. The healing church is the fountainhead of blood healing. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm a simple hunter, quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution. Okay. But I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral. Mm -hmm. And that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. Okay. If you seek blood healing and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit. All right. Anything else to say about them? The healing? Well, I'm a simple... No. All right, how about Bergenworth? Bergenworth is an old place of learning. Uh -huh. The tomb of the gods, carved out below Yarnum, should be familiar to every hunter. Well, once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. Mm. This led to the founding of the healing church and the establishment of blood healing. Okay. In this sense, everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. Okay. And today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood. Abandoned and decrepit. Mm. And furthermore, the healing church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. Oh. It's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive. Okay. But only they know the password that allows passage through the gate. Hmm. Anything more? Bergenworth is an old and the tomb of the gods did no. but okay. it's Alright. See you later. Thank you farewell. It has been a pleasure. May the yeah, you too. Guide your way. Cool, cool, very cool. Is there anything back here? No. Cool. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So I opened up a tomb, but there was another way to go. So I might just go that way instead. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I don't suspect that that tomb is going to close when I go back to the dream, but... I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. I don't think it's a big deal if it does, because it wasn't too hard to get to that switch the first time. Alright. So... This is where I split four. Yes, I could have also gone this way. Is there another splitting point? I think there was another splitting. Yeah, okay. It was between like going that way and this way. Yeah, let's 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 go. Let's go up these stairs. See what's up here. Ah! I thought I heard something. Hey buddy. Hi. I'm gonna just try and maybe sneak up on you, look around for any other enemies. What do I do? What if I... Nope! Nope! <laughs> That's a big axe. <laughs> Alright, and it did a lot of damage. Okay. Nope! Didn't work! But I didn't get hit? <laughs> okay. Ah. All right. Oh, I 
what if I miss? How did I miss a target that big from that close? Ow. <laughs> Alright, this guy's fun to fight. He's real fun. This guy. He's fun. I think if I just stay behind him, I should be fine. Okay. Alright, well that was interesting. Um, where did it even come from? It came from down that way. Okay. So now I can go either down or up. I don't like how many statues there are. It makes me think there are more enemies. Uh, okay, so there's this guy who looks like he's alone, but he's not. So... I'm just gonna... There's also a raven there. I don't like that. Raven gonna spot me when I go for this backstab? No? Alright. Let's roll attack! Yes! Dodge out! Dodge out! Dodge out! Alright, buddy. Let's go. Got him. Oh, he's not dead. Oh, hi, Ravens. You get the whip. Woo! Got him. Coins. Still don't know exactly what those do, but I'm just gonna approach with the whip. Oh, you backed off. All right. Interesting. Okay. Man, I have a lot of echoes. Maybe I should go back to the dream. That might be the smart move. Oh, there's an item over here. Monocular. Neat. Hmm. Anything crazy out here? Bridge. Bridge looks pretty neat. There's another bridge over there. Interesting. Interesting. All right. And the environments in this game, or in these games, I should say, the From games, but Darkborn Blood Souls, you know, those games. Um, they're always so big, the environments. And I do quite enjoy that, especially since these games are very good at being like, oh, you see that place over there? Well, like eight hours later, you're in that place. And it's like, oh, and you look back and you're like, Oh man, I remember that place that I was just at and I saw this place from over there and that's it, that's neat. That's neat. Having big levels or big areas. I did not see this freaking raven. <clears throat> Having big areas that you can go to basically everywhere you see. That's cool. Is this this is a new guy. I really feel like I should go back to the dream with these echoes, but maybe I'll just push my luck. What is that? Is that a spider? I don't like spiders. That was not in his back. Oh no. All right. Uh, did not work. Ow. <laughs> okay. Alrighty then. Uh, I mean, I guess we're going back to the hunter's dream. Uh, uh, we're going to get those echoes back next time. Oh, actually, it didn't bring us to the dream. It brought us here. That makes more sense, actually. Ah, anyway, as for this episode, that's a wrap.
Can I record one more episode today?